Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I have the craziest Eddie Munson theory you over here in your whole entire life. And I know you've heard a lot, and I know you're probably excited to hear it. But I'm just going to let you know right now that I am in deep. You know, I am in deep. For all we know, nothing with Eddie is ever going to come to the surface. And all these series mean absolutely nothing, and he's dead. And we're going to move on with season five, okay? But... For the small chance that something is going to happen, this is by far the best theory if you enjoy far-fetched theories. If you enjoy far-fetched theories and are open to the idea of a far-fetched theory adding up to something literally insane, this is by far the best one I've done yet. Uh, and before I get into it, I want you guys to please drop a like on this video. Please, 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 please drop a like uh, because this theory is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, and I can't wait to share it with you guys, and also subscribe. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get right into this theory, okay? And just to show you how serious I took this. Yeah. I wrote it on a notebook, okay? I wrote the theory down. I wrote the theory down. I wrote it on my phone. I made a TikTok about it. I did everything. It took me the last hour and a half, probably, and it's absolutely insane. Okay, so we know how everything with Dun Dungeons & Dragons that, have, that they have done in the game has happened on the show, right? Like, uh, for example, when they defeated the Demogorgon, L defeated the Demogorgon. When they defeated the Mind Flayer, the Mind Flayer was defeated. They didn't defeat Vecna, Vecna wasn't defeated. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, okay? Well, here is where the theory starts. So, Eddie graduated... Or in 1986, right? He graduated in 1986. It was it, it was his year. He said, "Dustin, it was, it's my year, whatever." Right? He graduated two years late, so he's either 19 or 20. This puts his date of birth at around the year 1967. Okay. Now we're taking a turn in theory right here. We're taking a turn in the theory. I'm gonna grab my notebook real quick because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So we're taking a turn in the theory. If he's born in 1967, he, just have that in your mind, 1967, Eddie was born then, okay? And we don't know his parents. His parents were never really mentioned. He was raised by his uncle, Wayne Munson, who was born in 1942. And, you know, that's it. He was just born by, or, or raised by his uncle. We never really heard anything about his parents. Here's where the theory gets very far-fetched, but very insane. So, the Creel incident. I know, we just took a turn, but just stay with me here. The Creole Incident. It happened in 1959. Victor and Henry survived. Alice and the, and the mom both died. Okay? They died, supposedly. This theory obviously revolves around Alice surviving. Okay? Now, you could say she's Karen as well. Karen Wheeler. That's a theory for... That's a whole other theory, okay? But let's just assume in this scenario that Alice survived. Alice was on the floor, just how Henry was, and Henry was in a coma, so in this situation, we're going to assume that Alice was also put into a coma and taken by Papa as well. In this theory, Alice was taken by Papa and not tested on in the same way Henry was. Instead of being tested on like Henry was, she was tested on in a way to where she was basically, basically taken to the facility and forced to have a child. To see the effects on the child. That's that's where the theory gets really far fetched. I know, but stay with me. So 1959, Papa takes her to the facility, whatever, and then she was 15 at that time because that's what it said in the article in Stranger Things. I didn't make up that number. It's literally on the Stranger Things thing. She was 15 in 1959. So by by 1967, when she would have the kid, she would be 23, and that's where the theory really starts. So assuming she survived, she was taken by Papa, and she was forced to have a kid for test. Now we're at the point to where she has the kid. Papa realizes, you know, nothing is really happening with the kid. The, t the test didn't really show anything. So um, they give the kid to the uncle and they let Alice live the se a separate li life. Maybe that separate life is, um, is Karen Wheeler. Maybe it's something else. Who knows? So just assuming that that 1967 kid is Eddie and given to Wayne... He's lived ever since with Wayne, right? So this is where the theory gets insane, all right? He was born in 1967, assuming that Alice Creel was his mother. I know. 
Um, so now we're to the point to where we're in 1986 and Eddie dies in the Upside Down by Vecna. But he didn't die in the way that everyone else died. He just died in Vecna's world. He didn't die a puppet because Eddie's not the not a not a puppet, right? He has the master puppet's tattoo on him. He's not the puppet of the master. Eddie is the dungeon master, right? He's the one who, um, you know, in in the D and D game, he was he, you know he was the leader. He's the dungeon master, right? So he didn't die like everyone else. He died by Vecna but not in the puppet way. He just died by the bats, which is a part of Vecna. It's a part of his thing, right? It's part of his creation. So he dies. He comes back as Cass. He kills Vecna. And he gets revenge for all of his friends. But he also gets revenge for his mother because Vecna tried to kill Alice, her mom, and her dad. And now... Her, her son that she never got to see, never got to have a relationship with, never, like, you know, raised or anything, just got revenge for her and her entire family, and, you know, that's what happens. That's the theory, okay? I know it's far-fetched. I know, obviously. Like, this is definitely not going to happen. Probably not. 99% sure. But for that 1%, I had to make a YouTube video on it. I mean, this is insane. So... It's basically like, it's insane because when I, whenever someone told when I, whenever I seen the uh, Karen Alice Wheel, Alice Wheeler theory, or Karen and Alice theory, I meaning like Alice Creel would be Karen Wheeler, I was like that's interesting. And then when I, then I seen um, whatever they did in the D and D game has happened in the show, like they didn't defeat Vecna. Vecna wasn't defeated in the in the show. I was like, oh my god, this is insane. Like, if they really want to take this far with Eddie and have him be a hero, this would be an insane route to go, and I don't think they will. But I just, I don't know. I just thought it was such a good theory that I couldn't not post it. So let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you think it makes sense at all. Let me know if you think I'm literally insane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the theory and put it in the description if you want to read it. Um... And I also made a TikTok about it, uh, so I put it in the in the description so you can read it in case you're confused. Uh, but this was by far my most far fetched theory, but absolutely insane theory, and would be amazing. Like this, the Eddie Munson secret revenge theory. That's what I'm calling it. Absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe. Ten of notifications. Let me know if you want any more other theories about Stranger Things. Let me know if you want me to do any other TV shows of your choosing or movies. And, uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate your love and support. Make sure you have a great rest of your day. Spend time with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.